whatever I do is to please the old Guru. Because if Guru is pleased, then Krishna is pleased. So, in this way we glorify him. So, we start with our Vice President of the Temple, uh, His Grace and Heart Grace, Govardhan Lamadhaji. Haribo!
and Navadhi Manur Parikrama also acquiring some lands there so that devotee can be have the temporary tent there and then can, they can you know stay in each in every island every day. So he's so much you know, concerned about the uh, to develop the Gaur Mandal, to develop the uh, spiritual uh, practices of the devotees. So devotees all around the world, they are very much, uh, very much uh, eager to have the, his association. But due to coronavirus, I have seen through the online that devotees are keeping distance. You know, uh, you know five, five minutes, after five minutes they are saying, announcing, Please keep your, you know, safe distance, safe, stay safe distance because of the coronavirus. But still, uh, we are, uh, you know, offering our homages. So, Guru Mahārāj, please bless me so that I can remain in this Krishna Conscious Movement to render some kind of service, whatever, many of our service, whatever you have given to me. And I have heard actually one incident I can remember that every time while I was in Mayapur, Guru Maharaj explained and he, you know, his preaching tour to USA that in New Panyani down that Chief Rice Festival and the Oksan and everything. I have been hearing so many times in Mayapur. So I was thinking that that Sotpur in our Calcutta, close to Calcutta, that is one Panyani down. I have never heard that, you know, somewhere in Atlanta or in the USA that some cheap rice festival is also, you know, simultaneously going on that, that. So I was, I was curious and I was, in my bottom of my heart, I was some kind of keen desire to go anyhow to that place, to see that place. So I, I, I didn't express to anyone else my, that whatever the desire I have, you know, feeling in my heart. I don't know, so I am here and <laughs> 2007 I came here until 2015 I was here 8 years and so I, I don't know maybe that Chitta Guru and that what is called the Chaita Guru mm. and, the, and uh, our you know external expansion of the Chaita Guru is Guru Maharaj by his desire that everything has been fulfilled so I don't know maybe we should not think something mundane, so that may be also happening in our life. So we should think about some kind of, some kind of special thing which will be uh, worthy to, you know, feel. So that may be fulfilled by His, you know, divine blessings that is okay. We thank you, Guru Maharaj, for giving me the opportunity. Hare So today is a very auspicious day because it's the day that our spiritual master he appeared in, on this earth to deliver fallen souls like me and others. And so Guru actually according to the scripture it says that without the worship of the spiritual master or without surrendering the spiritual master, there is no way one can achieve Krishna. Hmm. So in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is saying that Tadvidi Pani Patena Pari Krishna Shivaya Upodakshita Gyana Gyanina Stata Darshina that one should humbly approach a spiritual master and render service unto him and satisfy him with your service and that self-realized person will impart you with the divine knowledge. Because why? Because he has seen the truth. We haven't seen the truth, but he has seen the truth, so he can give you that same knowledge because he has the experience of the spiritual world. So a spiritual master is very important in spiritual life. I remember when I used to serve Guru Maharaj before Mahapur, sometime, you know, he would deal with things in such a way, very spiritual way. You know, sometimes sometime some of this, you know, Gurukli boys were very naughty, but he would deal with them so carefully. 
and sometimes you will even chastise, but still after chastisement it will always pacify them. I remember I was uh, one time serving Prashadam and he came from South America, long tour. And then at that time I was serving him, I was studying the Guru, I was living in the Gurukul, but sometimes whenever he would come to Mayapur, I would go time to time and serve him. So at that time I think the secretary was Sudarshan. Sudarshan was the secretary at that time for Guru Mahans. <laughs> so so Sudarshan who told me, go and serve the lunch. So I was serving the lunch. I didn't know how to, he didn't show me how to serve the lunch actually. So I went there to serve the lunch for him. And then, so I just put the plate, but I forgot to put green chili and lemon. And he told me, hey, I stay, I am devotee of Mayapur. You didn't give a green chili and lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I didn't know too much. So I went and even I got some green chili. At that time, they would hide, they would keep the green chili in the fridge somewhere. In the, and in the lotus building, they would have a kitchen there for the deals cooking. So I would go there, try to get some uh, chili. But there were, I think at that time, uh, Prabhupada disciple lady, old lady, I forgot her name, she used to cook, Mataji. So for Bhashma Mataji, Dina Mataji. Dina Mataji. Dina Mataji. Dina Mataji. Dina Mataji. So I went and asked her, give me some green chili. Guru Mahal is asking some green chili. Asher was asking some green chili. I said, yeah. So she immediately, well, she did a lot of hard work and she went and got some green chili. She, she got forgot, I think, I don't know why she kept. She got some green chili and, and until I put the green chili on the plate, he didn't eat it. So then I put the green chili and he put it. At that time, I think uh, one uh, rich disciple of Guru Mahal from Calcutta, and uh, he, he was actually disciple of Baba Ananda at that time. Radha Santurshan. Not Radha Santurshan, yeah. Uh, Nandi, Nandi, Nandi family. Uh, mm. Nandi family. So they got a silver plate for both the Gurus, for Baba Ananda and for Guru. Yes. So, so I got all the plate and washed. So Guru Mahal said, I don't like to eat in the silver plate, so give me a uh, stone plate. I like to eat in strong place. Right. Huh? Right. Strong, you know, the strong. Right. Yeah. Not, not clay, it's a stone, it's like a, you know, strong. Very heavy. Right. 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 They're very heavy. So, so some other, uh, one disciple, he gave that clay donation, you know. So then, Sudarshan said, we have a plate in the Armana, so we go get it. So I went there and I got the plate. We kept the silver plate. But he took a little because the disciple offered him. So he just took a little bit, but he used the actually strong plate. He liked to have a strong plate. Uh, uh, plate. Uh, so, so I see that, you know, then I remember there was, there was another Guru boy. He was, his name is Pathaseva. He used to serve Guru Maharaj. And Guru, he was very dear to Guru Maharaj. So, sometimes, but he had a little anger problem. So he used to get angry with Guru Maharaj. So sometimes I think Guru Maharaj came and he was there for three days. He came from World Food Tour and he was serving lunch to Guru Maharaj. I was not serving that day. So somewhere that Guru Maharaj took lunch actually four o'clock. So I don't know, this boy, he made some mistakes. So Guru Maharaj gave him a little kind of little, not big slap, like a little <laughs> scratch. <laughs> but, so he got mad. So he went to the sugar cane field. You know, he got mad, he didn't serve Guru Maharaj. He went to the sugar field and then, so Guru Mahal didn't eat and he went and looked for that boy and he brought him back and he sat him and made him feed Prashada. Before, after, after he ate, then he ate. So this is how he showed the Mahal. I was just here in today's small lecture. Nithai Prashad when he came to Mayapur, he, he came to take his brother back to, uh, back to his home because he became a devotee. So he didn't like it. He said, don't become a devotee, just go back with me. So then Mukunda told Nitai Prasad Swami that you come and see my Guru Maharaj. So then some other he said, okay, I'll go and see your Guru Maharaj. So Nitai Mukunda gave him 101 dollars that when you go and see spiritual leader, you should give him something. Don't give it, don't go with the empty hand. So he gave him 100 dollars to give it to Guru Maharaj. So they came and Mukunda spoke that he told him this is my brother. So then Guru Maharaj told him that why don't you stay? Why are you going? Why are you going to take Mukunda? Uh, 
But Mukunda didn't say nothing to Guru Mahal, but Guru Mahal could understand the mind that this guy came to take his brother away from Krishna. So then, so Guru Mahal told him, you don't like this Mayapur? Such a Mayapur is wonderful. Why don't you stay for your, for one month and see? So Nita Prasad told him, Nita Prasad Mahal told Guru Mahal that, I came, I'm going to stay only for one hour, that's all. So only for one hour? So then why don't you stay at least for 15 days? You try 15 days. So no, no, I said, I'm going to stay for one hour. Then again, Guru Mahal said, at least you stay for three days. Then again, Nita Prasad told Guru Mahal, I'm going to stay only for one hour, I'm not going to stay more than that. So, so Nita Prasad Maharaj was exaggerating the story that the half Guru Mahal was so merciful. You know, I didn't want to stay in his con, but he kept stressing. He thought that this, this person, because he was speaking Bengali, he thought this is such a nice gentleman, but at the same time his mind was thinking that he might have some jadu. Jadu color? Magic. 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 That he, magic. he has so many disciples, so many people listen to him, he must have done some magic to these people. <laughs> so he was thinking like that. But, but now he is saying that Without, if Guru Mahal not tell me to stay like that, I wouldn't stay back. But because he's, he, let stay, he made me stay, and I stayed back, and now where I am, and I became a devotee. So how long did he agree to stay? Oh, he stayed after that. No, but how long did he agree to stay? I, I didn't know whether he explained that, but he said, after when Guru Mahal told him to stay for three days, then he said, okay, I'll stay. Then he said, then he didn't go back, he didn't take Nikundu back, although he was going to take Nikundu. <laughs> so I can see that how merciful is a spiritual master can be, you know. You know, like, I remember, you know, Bhakti Chodha Maharaj, he left. One time he had some argument with some devotees, he left his home, he brought him back. There's so many devotees like that, you know, uh, went back. I remember when I was taking initiation, I said, Guru Mahal, I am not ready for initiation right now. Then he told me, no, I want to give initiation. Come tomorrow and sit in the jagya. I said, Guru I am not prepared, you know. So then he told me, you go and tell your Gurukul teacher at that time in our... Hiranagar? No, not Hiranagar, it is Anantarupa. Oh. And there was a head mi uh, uh, missus, there was Pancharantapu's wife. So I went and got a permission from her. I said, Mataji, give me a permission. I have to go because my Guru wants to give initiation. So I have to go and get initiation. So I cannot come to that day in the Guru they were having mathematics exam. So I cannot attend the exam. So I have to go for initiation. So I went. I refused the exam and I went and got initiation. So that's why I got the initiation like that. So he, but he told me that I give initiation but one condition. They don't go to Vrindavan, stay back in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, there are so many devotees I know that he brought them back in my house. I remember he went to the village, one devotee he ran away from Mayapur, so I went to the Namhat program. He said, hey, I, didn't, I saw you in Mayapur. Why did you leave Mayapur? He said, no, I had some problem. He said, go back into my car, we'll take you with me. He, he brought us, he brought the devotee to us back to Mayapur. So like this, you know, uh, I also, Janina was saying that today, uh, uh, just today, on his bachelor day, that when in 78 they, were, they had a big flood, and I think Bhavanapu was there, but Achyapur was in Kapkata, he brought one big, small, uh, what do you call this, small boat type things, it's a boat, and he brought so much grains, dal, rice, and everything, and vegetables to cook and feed the people. He said, Maya, the people are suffering. Yeah. People are suffering. So he was, he was suffering. The people are suffering, so I have to put this. I have to cook this and feed everyone. So you say, you know, he started with Maya to cook for life, you know, and fed everyone. I remember, I thought some devotees, they went there and they got dry, they got sunk in the river. <laughs> you know. So, so Guru Maharaj is very merciful, that's why Guru Maharaj has, you know, like a Kundu Shastra is fine. The Jasha Deva Pura Bhakti Jata Deva Tata Guru. Tasha Shri Kutra Hanta Prakashanti Mahatma. Because the spiritual master, he has full faith in his Guru. 
and he ha and he, he has his, and his guru has full faith in him, and plus he has full faith on Krishna, and this is called this is the sign of a Mahatma. Hmm? And in Bharat Mahatma means who has broad heart, broad mind. Others how you know so much you know so many proper disciples they are saying that uh, you know. Our Guru Mahathir is going through so much physical problem, but still he is encouraging and to different devotees, different part of the world. He is never uh, reluctant to encourage somebody to do some service to Krishna or to Guru or to Prabhupada. So, in this day, uh, our Guru Mahathir's Bhashya Puja or uh, Appearance Day, uh, we should uh, try or make a bow to fulfill one of the mission of our spiritual master, to help him to fulfill the mission of his own Guru. And this so way he can really satisfy Guru. Because I remember I went to, uh, with Guru Mahath to uh, Guwahati. There actually a Goreman, Bhakti Sanatakur wrote on the big board that don't try to see Krishna, but you serve your spiritual master in such a way that Guru, the Krishna will come and see. So don't try to see Krishna directly. You see the you see Krishna by serving the spiritual master. You see Krishna through that. And you will be able to see Krishna. So I hope on this auspicious Vasa Puja day, the any disciples, if they make some offense in this day, you should ask forgiveness from the spiritual master. So if there is any offense or anything that I have done wrong while serving you, while serving other devotees. Please forgive me and let me continue the service to Guru and Goran Hare Krishna. Lady. 
and one time she brought five, six people to take me home. And I hope only when he saw Maharaj, uh, he locked me up and he didn't let me go out. And anyway, so I couldn't go. Then after that, she left her body and then I told Guru Maharaj and Guru Maharaj said, we'll arrange everything. And Guru Maharaj arranged everything. He gave feast all Brahman. Wow. <laughs> and he told to uh, Pankajagi Ramanivas Prabhu, my mother name, he offered play, and then Guru Maharaj told me what to do after that. Then after that, I ran away from Mayapur to Bombay. So every time Guru Maharaj would go to Western country, he come to Western country and he stop in Bombay, and I had to be his servant. So anyway, so many times, so one time he came out and he was going by the car. Now Guru Maharaj told me, I am going, uh, to train Gopal Krishna Maharaj how to be a guru. Wow. So I was so surprised. At the same time, and Gopal Krishna Maharaj came and told me, I'm going to learn how to be a guru. He said, I'm going to give you training. So anyway, so he uh, left. Then after that, and after that, when Guru Maharaj came every time in uh, Bombay, and he used to tell me when you're going western country, when you're going western country. So anyway, I, I was so full and rascal, I never want to surrender, but one time I surrendered. And then he, uh, he uh, arranged everything, my ticket, and, and I came to uh, Atlanta. He brought me here. And then I was so unhappy, Guru Maharaj knows. The Guru Maharaj didn't tell me. He asked me, he looked like I'm not happy. Then one time, then Balabhadra Prabhu came. I think that time was Gopala Ranjan Prabhu was president. Then he after that, Balabhadra Prabhu. And then he came and he gave me one audio uh, uh, cassette. Uh, Balabhadra Prabhu told me, Guru Maharaj gave you to listen this cassette. So I was listening to that cassette, and that cassette, Prabhupada is telling, and all the devotees was his senior disciple was sitting, he was telling, then tell to Jayapataka, give in behalf initiation of me, the one a Bengali guy in New York, give initiation on behalf of me. And then everybody, all other devotees, they tell, why my Prabhupada, he is not here even. Um, that time Guru Maharaj was teaching. The Prabhupada said, just listen to me what I am saying. Tell Jayapataka, give behalf, initiation of behalf of me. Even Prabhupada was present. So we are so lucky. Prabhupada used to love him so much. <laughs> so anyway, I have many other things to tell. Thank you, Prabhupada. Jai Sri Rata Jupad Ki. Korea President. Pandalpur. 
So we went there and we are like having a crash, like a, shall we go to Iskon or we remain in our old like traditional gurus, you know, initiation. So my mom said, no, I will never take any session from uh, Iskon because I am already initiated from some guru, you know. And my father also used to say the same because he took initiation when he was like class 3 year, class study, you know. He said, no, we will just mix this call, we will not go to uh, take the initiation, it's okay. But we are supporting devotee coming our home every Sunday. What happened one day in the Gamanapur, where there is a festival going on, then at that area, the, some devotees, they have like farm, like flowers farm. So their main profession is to cultivate the flowers, Gandapur, Rajini Yanda. So they said they used to sell in Calcutta. So everybody brought nice like uh, garlands for Guru Maharaj. So after I finish the program, pandal program, behind the pandal, those are like initiated or non-initiated, maybe like 10, 15 devotees in the queue standing and everybody having on garlands. So going to give Guru Maharaj. So when he came down, then every, the Guru Maharaj talking one by one and giving garland, but we didn't bring anything. My mom didn't bring any garlands or something. So Guru Maharaj had like 10 or 15 garlands on his neck, you know. And mom was telling, yeah, there is one devotee, Guru Bhav, Udai Guru He also said, no, you should take initiation, you are so nice, you are good, you can be a good devotee, you should take initiation from Jabhata Chami Guru Maharaj. But she was having like little dialogue on it. So she was telling, Guru means Antarjami, you know? Guru understands our heart, you know. So let's see. I have to test today, Guru Maharaj. He having like so many garlands. So mom chose one garland. Okay, that garland, if he gave me, then I will think he is a Pantajami. And what happened? That was my ma mother's mind, you know. So my mom was, because we are at the end, because we don't have anything, you know, with maybe two, three brothers and mom went there, you know. So so at the end, when coming, so many garlands are there, Guru, whoever giving one garland, the Guru Maharaj is giving return on another garland from his neck. You know. So at the end, when came, then the Guru Mother was there. Uh, the, Guru Maharaj remember, once we went there, so remember, oh, you are like this, yeah, I remember like this, like this so, and so Guru Maharaj just went, few feet, you know, and just look back, turn back again, take the garland, and throw my mother. And my mom was crying, crying, crying. Then we don't know why mother is crying. Mom, why are you crying? You know, she took the van, it is of the van. So in the seat van also she crying, crying. She was telling, no, I did such a big offense today. I should not mm, mm, like check who, who is real or not, who is a real guru or not. Because sometimes a foreigner guru there is really or not, you know, some doubt is there. So mom said, no, he is really on the journey. How there is a 10 15 garland? How I choose that garden? He talked with me, he moved forward for a while and come back again and throw the garden to me. So I realized he's a little simple person. He's really, really like a special person. So, anyhow, my mom took initiation already. Father also took initiation. Then I like to add one thing like how Guru Maharaj, like, she has compassion for like, he want to preach everywhere. I was in Korea. I was a Chhatra Samaj student from under Bhakti Purushottam Maharaj. And I was determined to take initiation from Bhakti Purushottam Sai Maharaj. <laughs> but uh, Guru Mar uh, Bhakti Purushottam Maharaj, we have come to Korea and I have very good relationship even from childhood. So I was telling Maharaj, I need to take initiation from him. And Maharaj said, no. Even though Guru Maharaj told me two times to give initiation, we have of me or you can give initiation if you want. But Bhakti Prasad Kumar said, no, I don't want to do this session yeah, because Guru is there, I don't want to do this. So many years waiting and waiting, I was just working in company in Korea and serving on temple. So what happened, this time going by, suddenly I, I went to Delhi and Delhi Guru Maharaj is telling, oh, then Bhakti Prasad Kumar is calling me. So what are you? I said, I'm in Delhi now. I said, Guru Maharaj, want to go to Korea, you prepare, please prepare them. So Guru Maharaj wanted to go to Korea, why? Suddenly, then I said, so you meant to go to uh, um, Guru Maharaj and talk with him. You know? Mahabharabhu is there, we are waiting for him. 
I said, okay, good. And luckily I was there in Delhi that time. It was 2014. In this, yeah, this April month actually. So I went there and I was talking to so Guru Maharaj. I said, hey, Guru Maharaj, have you, Guru Maharaj cannot go because Guru Maharaj has a uh, short time and we had we, saw, we thought we have six month time, by uh, ten days time so we can get the uh, Korean visa. But Guru Maharaj, we have three days only, so we cannot go to Korea. But Maharaj say, you know about visa things, maybe you can talk, do something, and your wife is Korean. I said, let's see. I said, Guru Maharaj, Indian passport. I, that time I forgot. Oh, see, Indian passport. But I said, I know, I love. Guru Maharaj can go, don't wait. So how can go? I said, Guru Maharaj is having green card, so if those having green card, USA, and Indian passport holder, they can go on another visa. So I don't believe that. Show me, you know, I show in the online, printed. So we bring me to Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj, we can go in Korea and really he solved the problem. And Guru Maharaj does not believe. Give me the record, you know, law with the written down. So Guru Maharaj is happy and Guru Maharaj blessed me. I feel really it's so good. Like, okay, maybe something is coming. You know, I had flight from Calcutta, but I cancelled that and I directly next day I went to Korea because just three days after he going. And I was always blaming all that devotees, who have been come Korea, even GBC, some visitors, some other GBC for one day. I always complain, why nobody come in Korea? Why nobody come in Korea? Even other Maharaj were in Japan, but no Maharaj coming except Bhakti Prasutta Maharaj. Since my life 2009 to 14, no one going to Korea. I so I was always blaming, you know. No, Iskong is not sincere here, not giving here responsibility, you know. Even the temple is there. So suddenly, Guru Maharaj decided, ah, I want to go to Korea. Even you see, we don't have fund all this thing. Guru Maharaj came like with Mahavara, Vivekananda, Haridas, Malaysia, then other two more devotees. Like six devotees came with Guru Maharaj. So much flight money. We just arranged on a hotel, five hundred dollar per day, so nice hotel from behind Guru Maharaj. So Guru Maharaj came, and it's like in Korea there is no devotee, few devotees, like no initiative devotee. Now, one or two devotees, that time. So, because Guru Maharaj came, so some devotees from here, there, Kazakhstan, coincidentally, some devotees from Russia. It's like so many nice association happened. <laughs> so, if Guru Maharaj is like this, when everybody comes, Mayapur, so many devotees come, even in dry land like Korea, so, so many devotees came in Korea. I mean, anyway, we have all this thing. And what happened? He, I was like a one Bengali guy, he was telling, oh, he, he was respecting that guru so much, but I think he is very money man. How is money man? He said, I saw a devotee giving donation and he was checking with Indian, in this situation, checking how much he gave, you know. <laughs> so, so, so I feel bad, maybe no, I said, nah, we know how much is guru, you know, he's a taggy, you know, how the nouns, person, but I felt bad, you know. Anyway, he cut, many people give many donations on this thing and he saw the situation in Korea. What he did, I didn't after a few months I got devoted. Whatever he collected all the donation, gave to our one of the devotee, Kamala uh, his name is Kamala Mataji. He gave all the donation, whatever he collected from Korea and gave to Mataji, okay, you are to running temple, please use it from Korea preacher. And just just imagine how Guru Maharaj having like immediately this time he cannot, he cannot uh, travel all this thing, health issue. We know maybe he's joined this area I mean, regularly coming, but still he's going to Korea in such a nice place. Anyway, so I feel like if anyone in the world believes in Krishna, that is Guru Maharaj. Because you know we may believe Krishna sometimes, but the way he believes, you know, like we have to preach to Prabhupada, you know, I feel really touched. You know, okay then. And I came in Mayapur, then 2015 I took initiation and last moment that during the initiation he hold the job of uh, I was thinking why Guru Maharaj only and then my wife, many like six, seven hundred devotees you know, taking initiation. I feel so sad, you know, maybe I'm not qualified so he's not giving me job of So holding like this, so Guru Maharaj is looking to me like this and I just like maybe 30 second pause, like maybe it's, Quite long time. I said, what should I say, Guru Maharaj? Guru Maharaj, okay. I'll please wherever I can. I will definitely please Guru Maharaj. Believe me. So I just want to give him confirmation that give me Jafavit. Otherwise, it's like same mood, you know. So Guru Maharaj just smile and give the Jafavit. You know? 
So anyway, there are many incidents. And thank you, always that Guru Maharaj, such a fallen soul like me, I'm not even qualified, but he gave me initiation and trying, you know. And then I after I quit the job, you know. Even his memory is so sad. Even after maybe one and a half year he saw me and he said, How is Jia? You know, my what name? How, what is your wife? I said, Wow, he is like thousands of thousands of people meeting. He still remember, you know, he still remember my wife name. So many way he is very special and amazing person that we are so fortunate to get his association. Thank you, thank you for being here. The perfect example is Holiness Jawagra Swami Asajapad. Nowadays his health is not okay. But he still he is following the footsteps of Lord Nithana. He is going everywhere all over the world to save the fallen soul. How he is merciful. Even he cannot move alone, but he still let me preach all over the world. I am watching every day my Mughalat, after Mughalat he announced the book is school. And every day I see his name is there. He still is distributing books. And he's a top one actually. And he's sitting in, my, in his room. How is this possible? Because he's a pure devotee. He's very merciful to all the living entities. He likes to save all these people in this world. I remember one past time. We show this he knows also. He's not only merciful to the human beings. He's merciful to all the living entities. One time in my pool, in Guru, there was a small pond. A lot of fish was there. Big, big fish. Yeah. And one proper disciple, he was to be easily in Chashan to them. One day he called the fisherman. And he sold that fish. Maybe a few hundred rupees <laughs> only, not so much that time. Maybe 80, 89. Somebody uh, from Ashurabad, the Guru was, the Samadhi was selling the fish. Uh, he became so angry, he laughed to the Guru Guru. You selling the fish, they are Dhambashi, they are living in the Holy Dham. You selling them? How is kind to the living entities? He said, these fish is Dhambashi, they are living in the Holy Dham. How you can sell this? He called the fish and threw in the gallows. He cannot do that. His sister is in so much, he was also disabled. <laughs> How he is kind, not all the human something. Also, actually, he, all he, he, asked, he asked me, I was, he was, he he was, was there, he was there. I was giving him a He said, What's going on there? I said, This. Uh, the the Mark, 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 the Mark, 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 when my is collided, maybe he's out of India. Even he go back to my room to serve the food for these people you know, who are suffering. And he's honest, but he can train his devotees, his disciple. But pastor, he goes. Sometimes he saw that he's standing on the water, like two, three feet of water, he's standing, serving to the villagers, those who are hungry. He's like that. He's so kind to him. Those are, he already mentioned that he used to go to Calcutta, bringing all these grains, come to buy food, cook, and then go to the village to see these poor people. Those are hungry, those are suffering. Pastor, he go and they're standing in the water, you know, maybe like two feet of water. I saw his picture that you can see his picture also. He's standing and distributing books. 
And his service in my police, I can explain that. I'm not qualified to explain his service in my police. But he's doing From the beginning, I saw him since like 1979, was almost 40 years. I saw his service and he's dedicated to serve children. He's really, really merciful, a special master. You cannot compare how he's dedicated his life. Not only that, sometimes when I was born, he said like 70 or like 918. That the GBC meeting is going on. And we used to, our group used to be long holding and also the boundary wall. We had the holding there. So, festival, we have to move. We have to go near the kitchen, the Shulam kitchen. So, I, that, I used to wake up early because I used to finish my run before Mongolati. So, I used to wake up like 2 o'clock sometime, or 2.30. So, one time I saw a GBC meeting going on. One time I saw his, came to the kitchen. How is the group of boys doing? 2 o'clock, 2 30 night. That time the GBC meeting, all day he's busy with the GBC meeting, but he's still night time he came to see how the boys are doing here. Are they okay? Are there some problems? Right here to see him. To see what is going on in my mind. That is mercy. And he is so a strong man, you can imagine that. One time my Guru told me, Uksir Maharaj told that one day they should do wrestling in my room. And so my Guru Maharaj was defeated by somebody. He immediately came. He said, why would you do it? I am here. Also one day Guru Maharaj told that, you know how he is a good swimmer. I saw him so many times. I used to go something also, swim with him in the Ganges. So he used to cross Ganges so many times. So one time my Guru Mahas was <laughs> almost tired and he was almost down, you know. He just, as he was came and picked him up and <laughs> took him on the back. He's like that, he's so merciful. He's unlimited. All this merciful to all the divinities. Jaya Shri Kasari Vadiki. Ne 